Hello everybody, so I'm back to make another update. Um, I've been getting some questions because I've been posting things on Facebook about being on liquids again and people are asking me what I'm doing and why I'm on liquids again and why am I dieting and all kinds of crazy stuff. So my daughter's in here and she's kind of banging on some things so try to ignore that. Hopefully you won't get too distracting. Um, so here's what I'm doing. So the five day pouch test, I had good results on. I lost five pounds and mainly I just felt really good on it. I feel like it is, um, difficult enough that it's a challenge that makes me feel like I can push through and it's just easy enough that it is doable for me so that I have success with it and I don't feel like I am giving up and failing. Like I can actually make it through the five days. Um, what do you need, sweet pea? Here, let's see if I can hand her something here. Here, ooh. Look at that. Hopefully that'll work for a second. Um, so anyway, I just liked being on it. I liked how I felt. It sort of made me feel empowered. Um, I don't mind the food that you eat on the five day pouch test. I don't even mind the two days of liquids. Uh, the two days of liquids is typically where I lose most of my weight, it seems like, and it's probably water weight. Okay, here's the thing about my body and what it loves to do to me. Every time I go like hardcore, totally, you know, 100% um, in on straightening up my diet, it always holds on to water weight and starts to balloon up every single time. So either I my efforts do not show up on the scale at all, or it shows up as like a two or three pound gain, which is super, super frustrating. So for me, um, I have to not weigh for like a long period of time in order to see any type of results on any plan that I'm doing, which I'm not good at. I want to um, start a diet on Monday and be skinny by Wednesday night. That's how it has to happen, and that's not how it happens, obviously. Um, and this time, it's really no different. I lost five pounds on the five-day pouch test, and then I started round two this past Monday. So I today is uh, Wednesday. It's Wednesday night. So I did actually weigh this morning after my two days of liquids to see what happened, and I'm actually up three pounds. So go figure. It's happening again. My body is totally revolting and not wanting to... Uh, lose any more weight and it's playing tricks on me and it's being evil and nasty and just does not help me out at all so um, I'm gonna do my best to ignore that and just keep going because I know the way that I'm eating it's gotta something's gotta get at some point um, it's just got to I'm doing the best I can. So I did. I did my two days of liquids. I'm on day three. Um, someone had a question for the five-day pouch test, what I eat on days three through five. And um, I try to, to kind of change it up a little bit, but for the most part, it's kind of the same staple stuff. Um, day three is soft protein. So for the soft protein, I eat tuna salad mixed with Greek yogurt usually, maybe just a little bit of mayo for the flavor, but primarily I like to moisten the meats with Greek yogurt instead of mayo, just because it's way better for you and it gives you even more protein, right? So I do tuna salad, I do chicken salad made the same kind of way. Um, I do soft protein, let's see. Scrambled eggs, um, I do a little bit of cottage cheese, which can be, um, controversial because it it's labeled as a slider food what you can do is add in a little bit of a chopped hard-boiled egg to kind of firm it up a little bit which I do sometimes too um, and that's about it for day three for soft foods um, I usually have a coffee in the morning and then I drink 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 a bunch of water then I have a scrambled egg for breakfast then I do either tuna salad or chicken salad for lunch and then for dinner it's probably more of the same so um, there's that. I don't do a lot of extra vegetables or anything. You're not really supposed to. I only eat for 15 minutes at a time and you only eat until you feel satisfied, not stuffed. Those are basically the rules. So that's day three. Day four, you're moving on to more firm, I guess it's not firm, is it firm protein? I don't know. Oh no, ground meat. Day four is ground meat day. So, um, 
What I've got in the crock pot right now is a ground turkey that I'm going to make into like a spaghetti sauce to go on some spaghetti squash. I don't know if I'm gonna eat much of the actual squash because it's, you're really supposed to concentrate on the protein, but for my family, I'm doing the spaghetti squash to put it on the top, kind of like a spaghetti sauce kind of deal. Um, so we will do that tomorrow night for dinner. Um, during the day, I will probably do, what do I have? I have shrimp, um, you're allowed shellfish. It's kind of more on the firmer side. It's not a ground meat, but it's not a soft protein either. So it's kind of in the middle. So I do seafood on day four. So I'm doing shrimp with a little bit of cocktail sauce, probably for lunch. And for breakfast, I'll probably do um, still a scrambled egg, which kind of carries over from uh, day one. Maybe just one scrambled egg and then a little bit of sausage in there to kind of firm it up even more um, so that it's not like exactly like uh, the soft protein stage. So that's a typical day four for me. Now day five, you're supposed to do solid proteins um, that are like grilled with very little sauce. Why are you whining? I'm trying to make a video. It's not very nice. staring at me. So like a grilled chicken. Do you like grilled chicken? I need some tea. Um, with just seasonings, dry seasonings, no sauce, no barbecue sauce, no mayonnaise, nothing like that. Or grilled steak. Um, my husband loves steak. It's not my fave, but we'll probably do steak this week for day five. What I'm doing is morphing this pouch test um, theory into kind of more of a lifestyle. So I'm taking the five days onto six days. So I'm extending my day five rules on to day six. Hi, do you want something else? Let's see what else I can grab for you here. How about that? I'll play with that. Yeah. Um, so I'm extending day five to one more day. I start on Monday with my two liquids. Um, my two days of liquids, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are protein stages. Saturday, I add an extra day of the firm protein stage. And then Sunday is my free day. So I'm not going free as in like free for all, eat cake and ice cream kind of deal. I am doing a fairly low carb, but like, let's see, this past Sunday I had, I did have some rice for dinner. We had fried rice, I mean chicken fried rice. Um, and I just basically kind of get the cravings out of my system, but still kind of eat within the same sort of idea. Only eat for 15 minutes, only eat until I feel satisfied but not stuffed. Um, and try to keep the meals protein centered, but still giving myself a few extra treats so that I'm not in that diet mentality so that during the week I'm more relaxed. I have this weird thing. Oh, are you okay? You're okay. Oh, I know what you'd like. Here, I want my hairbrush. Look at that. That's interesting. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is, this is a mommy. This is what happens. I never get any time myself to do anything from start to finish. So, um... Where was I? Where was I? My free day. I, oh, I, I, if I get into the diet mentality, I will want to cheat. Um, I'm thinking about all the things that I can't have and that I can never have them and I'm not supposed to have them and blah, 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 all the rules. But with this free day idea, um, if those kind of thoughts come into my mind, like, oh my God, I'm craving a piece of pumpkin bread or I'm craving chicken fried rice or whatever it is, um, I save it for my free day. And then I still eat, you know, mindfully, not like going out on a whole hog binge, just eating like a normal person would eat until they're satisfied. Should work, right? Um, you can't gain back a week's worth of work in one day, if you're eating mindfully. That's my theory. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be a plan that I can live with for a while until I can get down to my goal weight. I think it's the first time I've actually had a real plan of my own other than like 
Nutrisystem or something that was somebody else's diet. Um, this is this way of eating is meant to work with my pouch. It's sort of how we are supposed to eat anyway. Protein first. I've been drinking at least 90 ounces of water a day, which is something I have never really done since the beginning of my journey, which I should be doing. I know it would help my metabolism. So I'm hoping that if I can stick with this for somewhat, you know, for a long term, that my body will stop doing this weird yo-yo thing that it does where it retains the water and then freaks me out and then I like pff, toss in the towel and go have pizza. I don't want to do that anymore. So we'll hope that it works. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm doing. So hopefully that clears up everything for you guys. I'm not really on the five day pouch test. It sort of morphed into a six day plan that is based loosely around the five day pouch test, if that makes any sense. If anybody has any more questions, feel free to message me. I won't respond. <laughs> no, seriously, I have a hard time responding to messages on here, but if you are a friend with me on Facebook, I generally always respond to those messages. So I'm Faith KP on Facebook. Um, yeah, so you can look me up there. That's it. I'm gonna go, she is pulling there's a handful of hair that she's pulled out of my hairbrush. That's lovely. It's... <coughs> Bless you. It's probably not safe. Um, let's see if we can say hi real quick. Do you want to show everybody what you're playing with that you're not supposed to be playing with? Here, let's see. Look. Say hi. What do you have? Look at what's on your hand. Look at that hand full of mommy's hair. I'm losing all my hair, um, by the way. I'm gonna start taking my Jamberry supplement, which I am selling. It's called uh, Beauty Boost. It's got biotin in it, it's got B12, it's got all kinds of vitamins that we need as weight loss surgery people. If you have hair loss issues, you can see my hair's pretty darn thin. I have not started taking it yet. Um, this is an excellent supplement. He just launched it and I, as soon as I saw it and I read the ingredients, I knew it was going to be excellent for my weight loss surgery people. So I'm going to post a link below to Beauty Boost. It's $25 a bottle, which I think is very reasonable for a good quality supplement. Um, if you want to get some, helps out my family. Gives me a little kickback. Okay guys, so, um, Take care and I will see you for my next update. Bye.